What's up, my little parklings? How's it going? Thank you for joining me today, where every day from Monday to Friday, we will take a look at a different game to see if it's worth your hard uh, money. Or if it's not, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And on a Friday, if I do any Let's Play, I'll put it up then so you've got a bonus video. Let's get to the video. What's up, boxers? Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're having a good day. Today, we're looking at Hand Mansors. This is the dudes. Oh, dudettes and one dude. Now, this is a roguelike card battler. I had a little go on it because someone suggested that I should have a go on it so I understand mechanics. They were very adamant. I wouldn't get it. Glad to know that people underestimate me on such a high level. My right, upcoming features. Three unique characters, blah, blah, blah. This is the uh, demo. Now, this is based on rock paper scissors so he's rock she's paper and that's scissors and they're all naked we don't know why but i'm glad they are that's why it's coming up because uh i tested that out, so i know some of it look so she scissors that's why i have that character designs in this game are awesome there is a issue with the cards i'll go to at the end so these are your cards. Look at design for scissors. How awesome is that? That's rock. That's paper. So when you first get them, uh, they got a three on them. I'm not sure if that's their attack or what. But if they have a gem, which is the bit I really like in this game, deals one damage and grants two shield. And this one's got uh, deals one damage two times. And this one, this big old middle stone here deals three damage and inflicts two bleed you all know how bleed works so that means you can put stones on either side and one in the middle that's awesome i'm not sure if the middle ones are unique to scissors and then these ones have unique ones and these ones have unique ones because i haven't discovered that but already i'm liking this game so let's go Well, I'll read all this for you. Uh, like any other good adventurer, your journey starts here on the map. Select the next nodule by clicking it. Come on now. Don't dawdle. Let's begin. Let's begin. Every card in your deck represents a spell you can cast. Spells always have a type. Parchment, stone, blade. Rock, paper, scissors. Play your cards reacted to the enemy's attack by dragging them onto the empty spot. And then click end to end your turn. Spell types determine the outcome of the resolution. Win deals full spell damage. Parry negates all damage. Loss suffers full enemy attack. Lower the enemy health points to naught to defeat them. Right, this is your uh, artifacts. Like in many of these games, which is pretty cool. But every three missing hit points plus one base damage. Now, unlike other artifacts, or I have not seen this in any other roguelike game, you can uh, land on uh, spaces that allows you to duplicate an artifact you've already got, which I think is pretty cool. Right, so that's uh, rock. So I need paper to beat it. So look, if I put paper on it, that means I'm going to do damage to him. I'm not sure if it's that bit or the one on the actual card. However, if I was to put the same one on it, that means no damage is done to me, but no damage is done to them. And if I put the wrong one on it, they win. So this is a win or loss or draw kind of thing. So as the fights progress, you have to make sure you're winning and not losing. Right, so put parchment on you. And we push end on you. So I've hit it for one. So now it's uh, scissors. So if I put it on it, it would do the three damage, but it'd be a draw. Or I could put rock in it, which turns that green and it's going to hit him for one. Fighting is a tiring business, even for a hand monster. 
As combat goes on, you will have less and less spells to cast. Don't worry. At any point during combat, you can spirit. Mechanic I do not like. Spiriting makes you draw a full hand of cards from your deck. But be careful. All cards already positioned will be locked and cannot be reorganized. Spiriting also adds a cramp spell to your hand, a card that can never win. Learning how to effectively utilize the cramp card is a secret that all hand masters yearn to learn. So when you push that, you get a cramp card. Right, that's a paper, so I'm gonna hit it with that. Which is gonna put three on him plus breed. So I'm gonna do the cramp. Now you get this card, so if you put this here, you'd always lose, so you'd always take the damage. He dead. Turns to a pile of little rubbish. Combat rewards. This is the best part of the game. Defeating your enemy strengthens you after every battle to become a powerful hand master. You must. Well, I know it says hand mancer, but I'm going to keep saying hand master by mistake. So live with it. You must learn the strength that is good, if not effectively wielded. You are given three loot points and choice of eight random rewards. Don't like these rewards? Reroll them by clicking on the reroll button for one loot point. So that means you get one less every time you reroll. And masters are capable to use powerful artifacts from the past and wield their magic in combat. These magical rings grant you powerful passive effects able to greatly enhance your cards and effects. You might even come across cursed artifacts. Ooh. Items that exchange a negative effect for one bonus loot point. Hand masters can empower their spells by applying unique effects to their own cards. This is the art of card crafting. You can begin by selecting a gem as a reward, drag it to the card you want to argument and release it to complete the process. Card effects granted by gems are always active before spell resolutions. Shiny. Right, so these are your artifacts. And these are the things you put on the card. Oh, I got that one. Yeah, I'll take that one. Right, that's got an attack. I'm going to put that on that one. Wash. Right, so now that one, that card now has deal three damage to self, plus one blade base damage permanently. That means I can constantly stack that up. I just need something to heal with now. What's this do? Every three times times you play blades, inflict plus three bleed. Ring of thousand cuts. Ooh. Every two times you deal damage to an enemy with bleed. Deal one damage. All right, so that allows me to stack. At the beginning of combat, grants free shield. Ooh. At the end of the turn, deal one damage. That could be cool. Uh, that one. Inflict one bleed. Grant one regeneration. Grant two shield plus one heal. Grant its effects when another fragment is on this card, plus 50% base damage to this card. I'd rather have... Hmm. Inflict one bleed. I gather that's the enemy. Otherwise, if that's on me, that's just stupid. Well, I'm going to have one here as well. I'm going to put it on the blue. Actually, it's kind of an attack thing, isn't it? I'm going to put it on now. That one gets an extra little uh, bit of attack now. Sweet. Let's get going, people.
I like the art, I like the sound, and I like the options it gives you. Ah, oh, it's a doggy. I didn't see this last time. Tough enemies. Enemies are growing stronger too. As you progress throughout your adventure, you'll see enemies with multiple attacks per turn and powerful innate abilities. Make sure to check them carefully and learn what they do before fighting. Research is just a valuable of a skill for a hand master as martial powers. Ooh. Every win grants two courage plus 50% damage for the next action. So every time I beat him twice, he gets stronger. Ah, oh, sucks. You nerd. But right. what have we got? We've got bleed and regeneration. And we've got bleed. Right, let's put that straight onto that. So I'm winning that one. Do a free hit plus another free hit plus two bleed. Right, we've got rock and we've got no effect cards. Uh, let's draw. You wave your little hand around that dog's face. All right. So I can deal further three plus two. Oh, that beats that. Uh, let's do spirit. So I'm going to take a hit. I'm going to hit him. Oh, it's getting stronger. Bad little puppy. What? I'm going to hit him with that big boy. That's going to bleed him and hit him for free. Plus him with that. So I'll win that one. Right, rock. Oh, I'm going to lose that. Uh, I wonder if the effect still happens, even if I lose. No, I'll kick that, put a, put a spirit card down. Oh, that's a little bit of damage. He bled out. That's a dusty little punk. Plus two damage yourself. Give me plus one maximum hit points permanently. Inflict two bleed. Ooh. Inflict a random debuff. That could be cool. Why did this poison? Deal two damage yourself. Inflict three bleed. Every time you grant courage, deal one damage. Every time you inflict stun, deal 3 damage. Every time you play a parchment, deal 1 damage. Heal for 10. Right, we'll take that one. Uh, we'll do 10. All of these give me too much damage on myself. Alright, let's inflict to bleed on someone's shell here. Let's put on this big boy card. Look at that. Oh, and these cards is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, Panhead. Boss selection. The end of your journey has been decided for you. How you get there, that's in your hands. The path you pick will influence the enemies you'll find on your travels. Plan your route ahead and keep exploring. So I can either have him, or him, or him, or him. I choose him. Look at that silhouette, that is so cool, isn't it? What's this do? Every time you play blades, plus one blades base damage. Scissors! Stop saying blades! They're just scissors. Every time you play parchment, paper, plus one parchment base damage, plus one paper damage. 
Every time you play stone, which is rock, plus one stone base damage, plus one rock damage. Consider all parries with rock, stone, scissors, blades, whatever they're calling it now, and parchments as a win. So consider all parries. So if I just block him, I automatically win, or he wins. Ooh. That's a cool design, isn't it? That's my path. Oh, that one there? What's that one? Tavern. Feast upon a random meal to boost your stats. Ooh. Mirror of Fates. Duplicate one of your gems. Yeah, I want that. Swap one of your card types and gain power. That's just a fight, isn't it? I might as well go uh, the bottom route. The Mirror of Fate allows you to weave threads of reality, changing it to your own design. Cool. Drag one of the gems from the reflection of your cards on the left to a new capable spell on the right. In this way, you'll be able to duplicate a gem you already own. Cool. Three damage. Do one damage two times. Do one damage. It bleed. He has three damage plus one blade base permanently. That's what I got off to four. All right. I didn't notice that. Inflict bleed damage. I want one of them. Uh, who should I put it on? Let's put a parchment. I have no parchment abilities. Look how happy he is. Look, he's got a little jab. He's well happy and he loves it. Well done, Parchment, dude. Random stats upgrade, eh? Is that a card? Every hand master knows how important a good filling meal is. Milog is here, happy to help. Oh, well done, Milog. Pick food with the best random modifiers for your current situation and enjoy its benefits. Let's eat. Minus one blades base damage. Plus one base damage. Uh, so it weakens blades, but everyone gets plus one. Plus eight max health. Plus one stone base damage. Plus one stone base. Oh. Is that nothing? Oh, that's chef. We've got Pig Boy Air, plus three base blade damage, minus one base damage, plus one blade base damage. Okay. Plus three parchment base damage, minus one base damage. I guarantee that's on blades because it's red. Plus two stone base damage, minus two max hit points. Um, I think that's the best one now. Uh, yeah, plus eight max health. Plus one stone damage, plus another stone damage. Oh, I wouldn't bet if we could try to grab the lot and then fight him as a boss. As a mini boss. That would have been awesome. Hey, little goblin dude. Alright, so we've got three this time. <laughs> right, stop doing that. Right, uh, what we got? Regeneration heals 10% of damage dealt. Ooh. Every four actions inflicts one weakness. So I gather that means I'll take 50% more damage. Okay, what? Let's put that stone on that one. So I win that. Plus, I get two shields. Alright, what's the next one? So I need parchment for that. Inflict one bleed, grants one regeneration. That means I win that one. Inflict one bleed, grants one regeneration. Let's do a spirit as well. And turn.
Oh, that's a nice little uh, starting hit. Look at him waving that hand around, little freak. Oh, bleeding white. Alright, well, free damage to myself. Plus increases blade base damage by one for everyone. Yep. We do one. Uh rock has no effect. And we we'll lose that one. So we we'll lose that one. Win that one. Win that one. And we get some more cards just in case. Oh. Oh, watch do that. Right, we've got paper. Right, so I have to hit him for six plus three damage plus two bleed. Right, so I'd win me with that one. I would win that one with him. I'd lose that one or I can draw. I don't draw. I got one of each, so that's pretty cool. Right, end turn. Whack. Right, he's got uh, two hit points left. Let's hit him with that. That should kill him. But we still do that on the rock. Scissors on paper. And we win. Yeah. What we got? You old jug. Recovers 10 hit points straight away. Ooh. You can't grant dodge. Dodge the next attack. Next X attack. What? You can't grant dodge. Dodge the next X attacks. Mm, okay. I gave that's a negative, so it looks like it's giving you one uh an extra thing up here. Every three times you grant courage, grant plus one in power. Oh, in power deals X damage. So all of a sudden it gives me uh courage, really, don't I? Your cramp gains the following effect. Deal one damage, yes. Because those cramp cards are rubbish. Deal one damage yourself. Grant plus two regeneration. Oh yeah, I want that one. That's one I've already got on them. I want to put it on uh, another parchment. Plus one regeneration, plus one bleed on them. I hope you can get uh, upgrade the actual stones. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Deal one damage for every two artifacts activated this turn. That would always activate. That might. That might. Inflict one bleeding and deal uh, weakness damage. Yes, that would be awesome. I like that. Let's put that. That's already got a defense on it, so he can't have it, can he? Let's put on that uh, rock one now. So at least the rock's doing sank. Otherwise, they're not doing anything, these rocks, are they? Oh, that's all of them? Okay. Hey, hand answer. We need your help to improve the game and make it... Oh, he's asked me to give feedback. I'm doing it right now, you little nerd. Don't do that in-game, developer. It's irritating. Do it at the end. <laughs> I like the way it's drawn on. But well, it's kind of scratched on, isn't it? Oh, what was that? All parries as wins. That's the thing I read, wasn't it? Plus one blades. Yeah, that's the thing to begin. Right, rock, rock, rock. That sucks. Well, I've got one. 
Got two. I will deal one damage to him and lose one health myself. Wash. I'm gonna stack up them bleeds. Well, right, we'll take that one as a hit. We'll inflict bleed and weakness and win that one. What else we got? Deal one damage plus two shield and I'll win that one. Yeah, let's do that. Bosh. Ugh. Is that stay on me? I'll prevent the next damage. That stays on me to one. Right. If the shields carry over, that's really cool. <gasps> oh, all parchments, all scissors, my boy. Well, that's going to do three damage plus blades permanently one. Do one damage two times. No effects, but it's going to hit for five. Let's get some spirit going on. Yeah. All right, turn. I like the hand gestures, but uh, you could at least get him to swear at him a little bit. That'd be funny. All right, uh, we got rocks. Oh, that's terrible. Um, let's put one on you, put two on you. So I'm going to lose two. But I don't have any uh, parchments. Oh, inflict one bleed and grant one regeneration. And turn. Those hits on me are taking their toll, man. Well, I've got one rock. Hopefully, we're going to do it. Uh, let's hit him for free. Well, let's take the damage, actually. All right, end turn. Oh. That's just increasing in power, isn't it? Right, deal three damage plus to bleed. How much on? Oh, that's an 11. That's an 11 plus bleed and regeneration. What else going to give me? Ah, uh, give me another one. I'm going to win on all three of them. Plus that damage, I think that's him dead. Bosh. Yeah, you punk. It's still his little pothead. Bring off the fence. Every time you draw cards, grant one shield. Yeah, I want that. That's a no brain, that one. Every time you inflict a bleed, inflict plus one bleed. I've got a good little uh, bleed deck going on. Ring off impediment, minus two base damage. Or recover 10 hit points. Recover 10 hit points. This card considers all losses at parries. Oh. Deal one damage and inflict one bleed. Deal five damage, inflict two weaknesses to self. No. That's gonna kill you all fast. Deal one damage to self, deal four damage to them. No. I really want that. Hmm. Oh, I thought he'd let me do it. <laughs> Alright, inflict one damage, inflict one bleed. I like my bleed deck. Right. 
Do -do -do. I kind of like it. it. Goes with the scissors, doesn't it? Bleeding. It's in there stabbing. Let's go, dudes. I really like the pictures of the cards. I think they're cute, the little faces. Choose your destiny. Oh, let's choose uh, that dude. <laughs> uh, innate abilities. Every three turns, corruption lashes out. Oh. Every 15% of missing hit points grants one in power. Grants 10 shield, grants five. Looks like a foot. Next turn goes into defensive retreat. Deals X damage for respite. Next time you lose, then reduce this status by one. Ooh. Every two actions grants one courage. Every two actions grants respite again. Every six actions inflicts one stun. So you've only got a limited amount of time to take him down. Because he's going to mess you up well fast. And there's all interest right now. Let's go. Hmm. So one of your card types and gain power. They're just fights. Duplicate one of your gems. Yes, I like that last time. Is that all out of bomb? Rewall or duplicate one of your artifacts. Yes, I put that on. It deal two damage. Oh, well, I don't get the food thing. I like that tavern. That was a uh, really helpful last time. I'm gonna go. I really want that tavern though. The only thing about fighting in this, you don't get um XP, so you're not really growing that way. Let's go fight the wolf back. Let's go to bomb route. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that dizzy little one. <laughs> Duh. Hello, my name's Nirvana. Duh. Every win inflicts two bleed. Oh. Every turn grants free shield. Every action grants one courage. 120. Oh. What the heck is that? How am I supposed to know what that is? Unless it switches to a random one. But right. what do you got? Deals free damage to self plus one blade base damage permanently. Alright, just buffering up more and more blades plus giving them bleed. Well, I'll put that down. Okay. Uh plus two shield. That's nothing. Plus one bleed. Plus one regeneration. Well, I'll put it on that. We'll win that one. We'll win that one. Plus two shield for that one. We're going to spare it. We'll do that because it grants me regeneration. I have no idea who, if we're going to win or lose that one. Whack. Oh, it changed it last minute. That sucks. Well, at least that's not uh, permanent. But right, plus three damage. Uh, we do. We block that one with that. Give me a parchment. Yes. Parchment on that. So we win that one. Right, put that one on that so we draw. Can't win it, but we can draw it. Oh. Right. more cards uh well we we'll put that on the parchment so we'll win that one 
One bleed, one weakness, but on you. Well, we're going to have to lose that one. And lose that one. Hmm. Oh, let's not go down. Oh, bleeding me as well. That's not good. Well, right, we'll put that on you. Put that on you. So it's 15, 20, 10. What? Right, put that on you. Ah, it's put it on you. I die, I die. I think I won though. Let's find out. Oh, 15. Six. Yeah, she could be dead. One dead dog. Well, at least I didn't do the poppy yelp thing. Because I really hate that in all these kind of games. Deal two damage to self. Deal two damage three times. <laughs> Copy the prefect effect. Inflicts one. Bite. Oh, yeah, got one on quite a few cars there. Do one damage yourself. Deal four damage. I'll probably have to pick that one up if I can. At the beginning of combat, inflict plus two weakness. At the end of the turn, if you have less than 50% health, grant three courage. At the end of the turn, deals one damage yourself and deals three damage to them. Hmm. Well, let's heal for 10. Let's put bite on another card. Uh, let's put an attack card. I quite like having attack cards having a damage effect. I think it just suits them really well. Right, so at the end of the turn, if you have less than 50% health, grant courage that could really save my butt i need heal i need stones that heal that's what i really want duplicate one of your gems yay all right which one do i want duplicate there those bite cards i am really liking Yeah, let's get a uh, bite card. Uh, who hasn't got one? Oh, that big boy comes a mega card. Look at that! Let's go three of them. <gasps> Little shiny, shiny. I should upgrade the same. Come on, developer. Look at that. I've got all of them, man. It should look like a rainbow. Well off wishes. Reroll or duplicate one of your artifacts. Hello, mermaid. What's with those hands? The skeleton hands, that's freaky. Dreams are powerful, especially if the siren comes and visits you during one. She is a formidable being said to help worthy hand masters on their travels. Whoa, sirens, in any ones that sing to sailors, like, come here, ignore the rocks you're about to die on. Don't trust Siren. Give her one of your artifacts and she will be able to remove it from you. Reroll it into something different or duplicate it. Right. What we got? I can get plus six in my 50% damage. Cramps I can do two damage with. End of every turn, deal two damage. Every time you play a parchment, deal one damage. I can have that deal two damage. Every time you draw cards, grant shield. Oh, I can do that twice. Oh, you get the pick. I thought it was random. Oh, yeah. Every time I draw a card, I'd get a shield. That would be cool. 
Bye bye. Sail out murdering siren. Goblin Marauder. I've only got 19 health. Suck. So. Hopefully I can get regen going. I don't bet it'll be random. Oh, Alright. I thought they were going to stand the question marks then. What's this? Every win inflicts one bleed. Boo. Every 15% of missing hit points grants one in power. Boo. Considers all parries with scissors, rock, and paper as wins. Every two actions grants one courage. Right. Let's do the mega card. That increases me in every way. Let's cover that rock. Which is seven with that paper so I can get more bleed. Why did I put it on that one? I was supposed to put it on that one, weren't I? Oh, they died then. That was terrible. I'll right, put that on you. So I'll win those three. I need another piece of paper. No, right, let's put you down to get rid of you. I've got four shields, so. Bosh. Oh. Well, I've got one bleed on me, but I am regenerating two. Right, that's just nonsense. Right, what's that? Three plus two bleed. Regeneration and a bleed, yep. Mm -mm. Bleed and a weakness. Hmm. I need a parchment, really, don't I? Yeah, I got parchment. Uh, one regeneration and one bleed. Uh, let's get you on that. I'm not wasting a card if I don't know what it is. Let's do it. Wash. Wash. And Bosch. Going down halfway, nearly. Let's draw some more cards. Wow. Fame plus bleed. Oh, go with that. Yes, do that one. Onto there. Let's use that one to block that big boy. Oh, I've got another one. Get on that big boy. Oh, that's a rock. And I would lose. So let's. I'll take the six hit. Let's do it. It should really give you cards, shouldn't it? Right. We need a parchment for that one. Oh, well, that will kill me. Uh, uh, that's not good. Let's put you on you. It's all got to be uh, thingies there. Right. I can draw that one with that. <laughs> it's about what I'm losing that one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, maybe I can take him down beforehand. I don't think so. But he's going to be very close. Oh. Oh, we're down. Defeated. No. I think. Nice graphics. Uh, nice sound. The concept is really cool. Um, I like the artifacts i really like the fact that you can duplicate um gems and artifacts i think that's an awesome idea i'm not sure what else these two would bring but there you go there's a mystery one so what's that rock paper scissors lizard um nah <laughs> this really irritates me you got three one two three four five and you got two Make it even. You should be able to get more cards to increase your deck size so you're not drawing as much. That whole uh, draw and get a cramp card, I really don't like that aspect. You should get a couple of cards every turn anyway. Especially when you're going against where you've got to use like four cards in a turn. It runs out of steam. So, developer, I'm not going to fill out your little typey thing. <laughs> I'm just a lazy a-hole and you should be watching my video so it's your fault not mine um you've got a really cool game here I really like it but the card draw elements for me is a uh, quite a negative the gems the way you've done gems I think I've seen gems in other games that you add on cards I think the way you've implemented it is one of the top three that I've ever seen in fact, I think you might be in the top two. The way you can do uh, offensive, defensive, ability, and you can mix and match. I think that's a really good, strong point for you. Um, I do think it would be a little bit better if you can combine gems. Like, say you had two of these, the same. You put them on top of each other, they combined. Give you four shield, do two, two damage. I think that would be pretty cool. If you're looking at, for ideas, go a bit further. If not, just ignore that one. Because you've still got a good little system anyway. But I do think the card draw on the turns is going to be a big issue for people who play a lot of card games. Because you don't have a mana system, you've got a great way around that. Uh, especially with the rock, paper, scissors up here. But you need to give the players cards each turn. Or else they're just going to end up with a hand full of those cramp hand things. And uh, I do think they're a negative in the game. I don't, I don't think that's a very good idea having it like that. Have it so that either the player runs out of cards and you can only do it, I uh, know, you can only call one or two cards a turn. Um, at the beginning, give them a choice of a few gems to put on cards as well. Give them like um, five gems to start with, but they can only pick one or two. I think that'd be pretty cool. But your artifacts. Yeah, I really like the fact of how many you got there and the fact you could duplicate them. You can re-roll them, which is very, very rare in these kind of games that you can actually re-roll artifacts. So you've got a really good idea there. But at the end of the day, it's not up to me what people spend the money on. It's up to you guys to do you guys. <laughs> I still think if you win the fight, they should stick their finger up at the enemy. Their dead body, just stick the finger up at them. But this will be possible. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Keep the posts. Remember, 